Hello and welcome to the fundamentals of electrical power systems for biorefineries. Today, I will give you a short insight and comprehension about the field of faults and safety. This is very important because electricity and electric voltage in itself inherently is a dangerous matter and we do not want that anybody gets harmed by a shock by touching something that is on electricity. So the direct and con indirect contact with life parts may happen in such a way this is direct touching which will not happen under normal circumstances but there is an imminent danger that we have the case of the so-called indirect contact with life parts. What is indirect contact? I hold an electric appliance with a metal case and by accident inadvertently there is some leakage of the electricity insulation here so that the voltage comes out and energizes from inside the device that I'm holding and that is intercontact. The effect on the body is the same as I put my finger directly into the electric socket. So this is the situation here. This may be exposed conductive part. This may be exposed to voltage by this accident and we do not want this. So what is done is we have fuses given as these boxes here and we put the casing, the conductive part of this body to ground. So what happens in case of such a fault? Immediately a current flow will develop from the voltage source through the fuse, through this casing, through the grounding resistor into ground and the ground, the earth, the physical earth is more or less well conductive but in any case we have some current flowing from the fault point to the grounded neutral of the transformer and around and around and by this if the current is high enough the fuse will trip. So there is one thing that is demanded, the fuse will trip in case that there is a current flowing and the voltage should not exceed this magic value of approximately 65 volts. So what is the drawback of the system? The ground resistance here between the fault point and the return point into the transformer station may be quite high, I think it could be sand or rock and then this fault current is slow, is small. The small current will not act on the fuse but because of this high resistance here we have relatively high voltages and that we do not want to have. So the way out of this is that we offer the return path for the current not via earth as it was here via earth but we offer this return current through the neutral conductor which is always present in electrical power system. So we give it something like a current highway. Now the fault loop is given in this system or this is more or less the same there this neutral return conductor is split separately and then unified with the neutral. If now the current goes to the fault point for example from the source through the fuse to another fuse to this motor casing and we think that in this motor we have this type of indirect fault then it goes back through the neutral through the neutral back to the voltage source and this is a very low ohmic path we have high currents and the fuse will trip immediately. So the next system I want and the last one I want to introduce is the IT system that means insulated system that you see here there is no connection with the trans between the transformer neutral and ground anymore. So this is, this is the system in more detail. So in this case if we have again a fault within this motor and we have an indirect fault then is the question how about voltages and current. Suppose there were a current, this current could flow into ground here but there is no current because we have here <clears throat> between the ground and the system neutral we have only a volt surge arrestor which has a very 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 high resistance that acts only if a flash of lightning strikes into the transformer station. Normally there is no current flow through this device and this means the neutral of the system is insulated. When it is insulated you have an interruption of the circuit here. When there is interruption there is no current flow. When there is no current flow the fuse will not trip but this thing is safe because we have no voltage built up on this part of the system. By the way this is even the desired performance of the system that in case of a single phase fault which may happen 
you do not get a trip. So you can keep on operating, for example, in hospitals, in emergency rooms and other very critical current supply situations. The only thing that you should have is a voltage monitoring where you see that the voltage system is not symmetrical anymore. It means That means U1, U2 and U3 are the same. But in case of an earth fault, we have no voltage here, no voltage there. And this no voltage propagates right to the terminals of the voltmeter. So this voltmeter will show zero volts and these two other voltmeters will show full voltage and then it will give an alarm so that we know we have an insulation loss on phase number one. Now to make it even more safe, there is the so-called residual current device protection circuit. So this is an increase in the safety and it works in the following way. You take all the three conductors of a system the L, 1, 2, 3, and the neutral, both into through a toroidal current transformer. This toroidal current transformer can be imagined as a ring of iron where you have, may be or may not have a magnetic field which induces a voltage. So, if there is a fault, you have the current flowing through this transformer, you have this fault at the entrance of this conductive body, the current flows to ground and re-enters the system somewhere here. What is important now that we have a homopolar flow, a single phase flow through this current transformer. And that means that we have induced a magnetic field around this current. This magnetic field flows in this toroidal magnetic core, like in a transformer. It is a transformer, by the way. On the secondary side of the transformer, that is these sensing coils, you get an induced voltage. This induced voltage in turn generates some current here and this current operates the trip circuit. So it operates the switch. So that means if there is a single phase fault and the current flows here, it will act on the residual current device. By the way, this is very, very sensitive. The tripping value of these devices is 100 milliamps in contrast to fuses where you have 10, 20 or 30 amps even. By the way, the question is, why doesn't it trip under normal circumstances? We have a, that's easy to understand. The current goes in here, goes regularly through our body, our lamp, whatever it is, and returns here. So we have one current going this way, one current going the other way, and they induce fields that are vice versa. The fields uh, annihilate each other, so there is no field here. If there are no fields, there is no induced voltage. When there's no induced voltage, this will not trip. The last thing to increase the safety is the so-called um, reducing of the actual contact voltage. So this is the touch situation, giving a human body here between the which two touches this live conductive part. And the person stands on a rubber mat, for example. So what happens? We have the full voltage at the casing. The full voltage is being the hand of that person and this ground, which may be the floor, floor on which the person is standing. But here we have a so-called voltage divider. The voltage divider is made up of two parts. One part is the body of that person, which has an approximate value, resistance value of one kilo ohm, and this mat. And when you take a rubber mat, it has a high resistance value, for example, 100 kilo ohms. So we have a voltage divider of one kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohms. So that means only 1% of that voltage can appear across the body and that is 2 volts and that is a safe voltage. So this is given also here in this typical representation. This is the 1 kilo ohm of the person. This is the 100 kilo ohm of the rubber mat and we have a voltage divider with a relation to the ratio of 1 to 100. This was the chapter about faults and safety. For further details and deepening information, please have a look into the script. Thank you very much.